So on the screen, I have a really basic circuit model of, in this case, an induction machine. And, and the reason I chose this is because a motor is a copper winding. That copper has a resistance. Um, and there's a phase current, and that current's going through that, that um, resistance. So again, we come back to, if we want to know our copper losses, we need to know our phase current squared times our resistance. Easy, right? Um, yeah, gets a little tricky. So when we start really wanting to understand that resistance, you know, of those windings, and, and there are three of them, um, we need to start looking and saying, okay, the resistance of my winding is definitely temperature dependent. These motors are changing temperature, but good for us. You know, we can take that, that temperature and we, we can have a model for our resistance. And this is all linear and this can be pretty easily integrated into um, a measurement system. So again, in real time, you can start taking this data and understanding your losses. Now your resistance model can really be as complex as you want. You can take a linear model and just say at 23 degrees, my resistance is X, at 30 degrees, my resistance is Y, and, and draw a line through it. You know, just have a, a, a very linear resistance model. You could also take the machine and physically measure resistance and, and get more of a, a calibrated curve where you actually take data points and you say, okay, 23, it's this, 25, it's that, 30, it's this, 50, it's that, and implement a curve. And you could have a, a resistance-based curve. Um, so there's a lot of options for how you can measure resistance, but, but the great thing is, um, as long as you have a model, you can implement it. So as temperature increases, resistance increases. Um, a lot of effort in engineering goes into cooling, as, as um, Peter Allen mentioned a couple presentations ago. So we're really going to use a lot of this to evaluate our cooling systems to understand that. Um, but again, it's it's not too hard, and and just with that phase current and that resistance, we we can estimate um, estimate what our copper losses are. And over here in this induction machine, I have the rotor resistance highlighted. Um, you know, if you can directly measure rotor resistance, if you can directly measure rotor current, uh, please let me know how. But you could implement it, um, or if you have a a mathematical model for that, again, you could implement that into the software. And, and with the data, you could start to visualize that in the real time.